Welcome. So today I just want to talk a little bit about uh, thumbnailing comics. I did not used to do a lot of this, but in the recent last few years I started doing a lot more of this and I found it to be extremely helpful for breaking down ideas. So I thumbnail comics and I, I don't do anything too crazy. I just start by making a page shape and Sometimes I work with a script, sometimes I don't. In this example, I want to just uh, pull the script out of my head. So let's say I got a guy sitting at a table eating. Uh, I don't, if anyone follows me on Twitter, you might realize that I... Um, like to draw things related to food because apparently I'm always hungry. Okay, so guy sitting at a table. Uh, phone rings. Bad news. Let's just keep it that way. Now we could do three panels, we could do four, but let's just start with one decent sized panel. And let's zoom in so that we can see this better. One thing I like about working digitally for doing thumbnails is I can blow the panels up while still keeping them little, uh, more or less. <clears throat> okay. Now, this does not act like the pen that I expected. That, you know, it, it's fine for what we're doing though. Okay, so we got a guy sitting at a table. First thing to consider is I need to guide the person's eye through the canvas and so I'm or the page and so I kind of want to bring the eye in at this angle. And so I think putting the table over here is going to be the most helpful idea. And the table's got to be big enough to uh, be meaningful. So I'm going to put this guy sitting here at the table, like so. It says he's eating, so let's just put his hands up like here, like maybe he's got uh, a spoon or something. And as long as you can make sense of the layout, and I usually put notes next to my layouts these days like those, specifically because I don't want to have to think about them uh, as much. So we've got our table here. Uh, I do not like the fact that I can see his legs underneath there, but that's all right. We'll leave it for now. And I will start pulling someone's eyes in with the text bubbles. And so now you'll go for, uh, since we are uh, English readers, our eyes flow that way. So it should go from this panel to this panel to that panel. Now, phone rings. I like to use these kind of thin wide panels because they help bring attention uh, to whatever you're doing. So something like this, you could even make the sides dark here. Get, when you do the sides dark like this, it kind of gives a cinematic uh, effect. Just something like that, so we know it's a phone call. Again, it doesn't need to look perfect. You just need to be able to make sense of this because it's a thumbnail, or whoever the artist is drawing this, it needs to be able to make sense of it because the thumbnail is to make sense to you. It's to help you keep track of your flow. Next, bad news. One of the most important things I ever heard about making comics was by Denny O'Neill, who was a very successful comic art uh, off a writer, especially for DC. <clears throat> And he said, show the next most important thing. So do we need to show the person picking up the phone and answering it? I, I'm not convinced that that is uh, necessary. I'm going to turn this brush size down a little bit. I think it's a little big for my needs at the moment. But I do want to split this 
down kind of right there. Now, he's got the phone already to his ear. You know, that is too small now. Yeah, whatever. And I usually will, when I'm thumbnailing, I will use like really simple expressions to get across what I need to, for me again. So I don't, I can't work with that expression right there. So let's just redo that. So I, I keep fiddling with my uh, settings because I am working on a phone plugged into a drawing display at the moment. Oh, and he's eating, so maybe some food in his mouth. Maybe he's looking annoyed because he's uh, answering the phone while eating. And then, the bad news. So his expression changes. So, there's a number of ways that we could do this. So, you know, let's just put the first one that comes to mind. Just maybe a close up on his face. At this point, we've not established what kind of bad news it is. We just know that it is bad news. So here, if I don't like a panel, I will actually put a little like, um, let's go back up a little bit. I'll just do this next to it. No, yes, no, no. And I will simply do it again. Can you zoom out? bust up the page into the same basic shapes up to this point. Since I have a yes for this one, I circle the yes and I'll simply draw an arrow like that so I know that the uh, same panel is right there. Just a little something to denote it. X's like this typically mean like this is going to get filled in with black. Uh, not to be confused with this one, which is an answering phone, but context. Uh, anyways, so I did not like this top panel, so we need to redo that one again. How can we make this one more uh, dynamic or more cinematic or more interesting to the reader? Would a side view be better? Maybe a top down view? Um, what about even splitting the panel? Hmm? I'm going to split it like this. Maybe he's cutting a piece of meat or something. Put a text bubble right there. Then we know we need another one right here. Uh, maybe another one right here. So with that, how do we... We may not be able to maintain that, so we got to move that one. 
but maybe we can move one of the text bubbles down here. Who says we got to have all three of those text bubbles up there? <clears throat> what if we turn the camera down a little bit so we can see more onto his onto his plate? Maybe this time. He's got the fork to his mouth or something. He's eating the food. Yum. Putting the knife in that hand. We can see his plate. Maybe we can see some people in the background or other benches or something. Personally, I find that uh, more interesting than the top panel. The top, I mean, we could still have people in the background and the southern one as well, and that might make it more interesting, but it's this bottom kind of being able to see underneath that really ruins the panel for me. Anyways, the point here is I will go over this as many times as I need to to make sense of the panel. So this last one, receiving the bad news. Now, I like to be cinematic with my panels almost like I was doing film, uh, which can be a good thing and a bad thing when you're trying to tell a comic story because you also got to keep in mind things like, is this going to be a digital comic or is it going to be like, like a web comic? Uh, is it going to be print? What is the format of the reader? Because that'll uh, affect how you're going to draw the pages. Like I'll, I'll read digital scans of comics that were once traditional and you get to a double, double spade page spread for an example and they just don't have the same impact because the uh, reader you might be using only shows one page. So try to keep things in that like mine when you're working on your thumbnails. So let's just knock in this last one real quick. So let's see. What if we, instead of splitting that one this way, just added a smaller, thinner panel to the bottom of the page. And you will have to take this account when you actually draw the page, but the, we're figuring out the layout at the moment, so you know, it'll be adjusted for the final format anyways. Anyway, so, this time, let's put this guy right in the middle, because we don't have him in the middle yet. Maybe he's trying to continue eating while answering the phone, so he's got it kind of pinned in his shoulder, kind of holding the fork. With a glob of food or something on it, maybe some sauce is dripping. It's kind of like, hello, who is it? Why are you bothering me? I'm trying to eat. here, put a text bubble there. And I do want to put a small panel here. Instead, let's focus in on his eyes. I like that eyebrow. His eyes, one of his eyes goes wide. Maybe the fork falls to the ground or something. Almost like a ghost to show it's falling. And 
Anyways, it gets the idea across. The reason I went for a side expression here, since we've got a straight on one just in the previous panel, I thought a side might be better. Okay, so I think I think this works better than the previous one. But what if we're still not pleased with something? So let's go through again. I like this one. This is now yes. Uh, yum will stay yes. Yes. Um, no. I don't like that one. And I like this one. So I've only got one that I don't like. And so here, since I know I pretty much just got a square, I just start burning through squares, uh, trying to figure out exactly what it is that I'm after. So is it just the shape of the eye that I don't like? Is it the fact that I can't see his mouth at all? Maybe I want to try something more like... a half face. There's a whole, any, any number of things you could do, but if you got the page working, I mean, sometimes you'll be like, I just can't do it, I gotta redo the whole page. But a lot of the time, if you just break through it in segments like this, it'll be enough. Um, let's try. We need to take into account the word bubble's gotta go somewhere. Which one meets the needs the best? Am I using the right zoom lines? Am I using the right effect line? And then you just look at them it's like, I kind of like this one. Plug it in, boom, layout. And then you can use your uh, editing software if you want. Let's see if we can do this real quick. I don't have a keyboard at the moment plugged into this. And so let's see if I can just quickly delete, delete outside, no, copy and paste, perfect. There we go. I think I accidentally duplicated that one twice. So there's one. I'm on the wrong layer. Forgot when it pastes it, it'll move you to a new layer. There we go. Go back to this layer again. We know we like this panel. Copy and paste. Back to our main layer. We like this one. Then main layer one more time. I don't even think we need to copy this one since it's already by itself. Let's just pull it in.
And there we go. There's our thumbnail for that page. Guy sitting at a table. Did I put got sitting at a table? Well, I'm sure one of you probably noticed that uh, early on. But, uh, guy sitting at a table. Jeez. I didn't think all the other words were right. But there's our our uh, layout for that page. And so that's kind of the process I go through for every page. It might be a little bit more involved than some processes or, you know, not as much for others. But this is how I like to do it because it lets me uh, really kind of start figuring out my page before I jump into it. Uh, hope you got something useful out of this. Uh, if you did, please let me know in the comments uh, what you found helpful. And if you still have questions or there's something you'd like to see me cover related to making comics or helping le uh, people learn how to draw, let me know because I'm always open to receiving ideas to know how to help uh, other people better learn how to draw and uh, just master the craft. Uh, thank you very much.